What's going on YouTube? I haven't done one of these videos in a heck of a long time, so I thought what better way to end not only 2019 but the whole dang decade than by taking a look at my current BGD collection. The last time I did this was back in 2016 and the general state of my collection was sad. <laughs> I had many unfinished dolls, dolls not even in one piece because they were just so scattered and they were all over the place. And let's be real, 2019 was no different <laughs> because I just haven't had the chance to be involved in the hobby as much as I would like. But since it's 2020, new decade, new year, new me, new lease on the hobby, I'll get everything done. And when I make a video like this again in probably another three years, let's be real, uh, my collection will be unrecognizable. So this is Chi, my Fairyland chic line in Effa. My beauty, my darling, my most recognizable doll, I think. She is pretty much the same as my last video. She's cute and she's pretty and she has a wardrobe full of clothes that are very modern. They don't match her story aesthetic at all. That's actually part of why she's taking a while because I'm developing my first comic and she's the main character. So I can't make her more thematic clothes until I design the comic and finalize those designs. I'm hoping to do that by the end of 2020, then I can start building her her own custom wardrobe and diorama. Seha is my laddie yellow Seha. She's the most complete of my dolls because she doesn't have a story or a particular need for anything. That said, since her wardrobe switches from between this sort of elaborate cupcake outfit and a very modern aesthetic, I plan on making her a cute little modern diorama as well within the next few months because she's honestly the easiest one to make a diorama for and not have it take up too much space. So look forward to videos on that. Nani, my Haru casting Nani, is one of the dolls who got the biggest change since my last video. Thank God. She has a face up, she has a wig, she has her own beautiful urethane eyes, and she even has an aesthetic for her wardrobe. Unfortunately, I'm having a bit of trouble finding clothes that suit that aesthetic in her size. I'm kind of resigning myself to the idea that I might have to sew everything for her as well. At least she's easier to sew for than some of the other dolls. This is Con, my Peakswood Fanta 10 Monthly Fairy Sugar Powder. Last video, I don't think she even had a name, so let's welcome her now that she does. She has a style, which is whatever the girl who makes her clothes feels like making, and she has a very small wardrobe, as well as a lovely wig, but her face-up is not only the company default, but it's also chipped and faded in some areas. I think I would like to have it replaced in the next few years. It's so small though, oh my god. She has the acrylic eyes that she came with as well, so those definitely need to be changed soon. And I really want to figure out what to do about her feet. They are so small, and because they're so small, I kind of want to get her some of the tiniest shoes in existence. Everything is so much cuter when it's small. Why is that? These are my three Eileen doll dragons. Syl is the Lapis Sweets version. Ten is the PLA plastic model, and Vi is the violet. You may have noticed I have less dragons than I did a few years ago. I realized I was sort of buying them out of some bizarre obligation to have a full set of them. Once I realized that, it was really easy to figure out which ones I had gotten because I loved them, and which ones I had gotten just to fill out the line. I ended up selling, I think it was three dragons, leaving us with these two resin and one plastic cutie. For those who are curious, Ten is painted with elements of a kimono worn by Shunsui Kyoraku. 100 points to everyone who knows who that is. Next we have my planet doll mermaid Aqua, Morwen. She marks the start of my list of dolls that are incomplete or in the phase of figuring out what exactly I want for them and you know trying to solidify their designs. Luckily last year I finally figured out a big part of why she never worked for me was because her color palette didn't suit the character she had. Her initial concepts were all pastel pinks and purples and blues. She was a very soft, very pearly character. I realized that she's actually the complete opposite of that. She's very brash and she's harsh and rough. And most of all, she has blindingly neon colors. You can even see some of her color palette on her right hand. 
that was me testing out the paints that I was going to use and I'm super excited to start working on her but you know also super nervous because she'll be my first massive blushing project and I'm still not really confident with an airbrush. Fingers crossed! Here is our boy Atlas, my custom house Bisuai Yu Yu. Yu Yu? Ooh, I never know how to say that. <laughs> I actually changed the spelling of his name, it used to be Atlas with an A as the name is traditionally spelt, but I feel like it just sounds the way it's supposed to sound if it's written with a U. Not in general, but just for this particular character. That sounds really silly, but it works for me. <laughs> you may notice he actually has some upgrades since we last saw him, even if it's not that much. After finally figuring out his concept this year, I got him a pair of eyes and I made him a wig out of feathers, which is really cool. I think he is going to look so cute and in the new year he's being sent off to a seamstress to get his very first outfit! I am super excited, he was the first doll I got in the hobby back in 2011 and he's not had an outfit since then. It's taken almost 10 years to get him clothes. He's going to look so weird with actual pants on. <laughs> I am so excited for that, you have no idea. You probably won't even recognize him in my next one of these videos because he won't be naked. <laughs> This is my newest addition to my BGD family, which is why he doesn't have a name yet. He is a pink vetch flying pig Vodor, and he's actually Atlas's pet. He's kind of like a puppy to Atlas, and he helps him on his little adventures. I need to decide a name for him, and his aesthetic will match Atlas's, so that's pretty lucky. So I will eventually make him, you know, a cute collar and accessories and paint him up, get him some eyes to match Atlas as well, since they're both technically the same species. I should probably explain that one day. Why is this pig the same species as this boy who looks like a person? But you know, oh, that's a video for another time. These aren't BJDs, but they are part of my doll family, and they mark the start of a new family that I'm going to be growing in the new year. These are my Monster High custom girls, both of whom are repainted Draculauras. Anne was gifted to me by the lovely Nicole's Dreams, and Ordino is my very first custom that I completed from start to finish, as well as posted on this channel. So I think they deserve a spot in this video, and I'm super excited to see how many repaints there will be next time I make one of these videos. So that's my family at the end of 2019, the end of the 2010s. I'm pretty happy with them since they're finally, finally moving. I feel like I have just been stagnant in the hobby with these dolls for so many years and I can finally see them growing and developing and evolving and I can't wait to see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to be adding any resin to my collection anytime soon, unless Eileen makes another Pico Dragon that I love. I really do want to focus on refining the kids that I have and making them feel really, really complete. Hopefully I can also start making videos more actively in this coming year. I hope to be on a schedule that I can stick to within a couple of months, but we'll see how that goes. I don't really know how to wrap up this video, other than to say thank you to everyone who interacts with me in this hobby. Thank you to everyone who shares this hobby with me and makes it so enjoyable. I really do love that I can share my doll family with you and that we can share the hobby we love and it's just such a nice community. Thanks for looking at my little family snapshot with me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in 2020. Bye!